of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Do please be seated for the notices. Very warm welcome to the parish church this morning for our service of Holy Communion today, which is the Feast of St. Luke the Evangelist, the 18th of October. So it's uh, good to be here to celebrate this special day. Uh, so a warm welcome to those here in church and also to those who are joining us at home via Zoom. Very pleased once again that we have a socially distanced choir of six, rule of six choir, which is wonderful because it really does enhance our music um, to have that uh, little bit um, of music throughout our service. So we are very grateful to members of the choir and of course to John for organizing that. The choir will be singing the gradual hymn, so the hymn just before the gospel. Um, today it is Be Thou My Vision. Sadly, those of us in church are unable to sing because uh, it's not um, permitted at the moment, but uh, those at a home on Zoom. Um, if you have a hymn book, do um, turn the page to Be Thou My Vision and join in um, on mute um, from home. The choir will also be singing the uh, Kyrie's and the Sanctus Benedictus and Agnus Dei. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. We confess to you our selfishness and lack of faith. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. We confess to you our fear and failure in sharing our faith. Fill us with your spirit. Christ, have mercy. We confess to you our stubbornness and lack of faith. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. As we stand, so we pray the collect, the prayer for this day, St. Luke's Day. Almighty God, you called Luke the physician, whose praise is in the gospel, to be an evangelist and physician of the soul. By the grace of the Spirit and through the wholesome medicine of the gospel, give your church the same love and power to heal through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Do please be seated for our readings, which are found at the back of the book. The first reading is a reading from the book of Isaiah. 
Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. The waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. This is the word of the Lord. The second reading today is a reading from the second letter of Timothy. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. As for me, I am already being called out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Do your best to come to me soon, for Demas, in love with this present world, has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is useful in my ministry. I have sent Tychius to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas, also the books, and above all, the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm. The Lord will pay him back for his deeds. You must also beware of him, for he strongly opposed our message. At my first defence, no one came to my support. All deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. This is the word of the Lord.
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. The Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals. Greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. This is the gospel of the Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. One of the wonders of the internet is that I can speak to you from a hotel room in Singapore. And today is day seven of my 14 day mandatory isolation. My father was baptized on Wednesday, the 4th of October, 2020, four days ago. He is 76 years old and quite ill, which is the main reason I am now in Singapore. The priest came round to the house. It was an all-in-one service, baptism, confirmation, and first communion. My mother read the parable of the Good Shepherd from Matthew's Gospel. The priest poured water over my father's head from a brown pottery jug. It was a small service because in Singapore currently gatherings of more than five are not permitted and I was able to attend, like now, by Zoom from my hotel room. Today, we observe the Feast of St. Luke. I have some affection for Luke because Luke was a physician and I am a physician. I also have some affection for the name Luke because it was my grandfather's name and he was a physician himself. Tradition tells us that the pastoral letters, which are the letters to Timothy and to Titus, were written towards the end of St. Paul's life while he was in prison, awaiting execution. In his second letter to Timothy, St. Paul writes, I am being poured out as a libation and the time of my departure has come. Paul has been abandoned or betrayed by his companions. His friends, many of his friends he has sent away and of these only Luke is left by his side. And the whole tone of the letter is reflective. Paul looks back on his life, looks back on the works he has done, and he is concerned for his legacy and the young church that he leaves behind, but he cannot do any more. He knows that he is near the end of his life and he must entrust the future of the church to Timothy and to Titus. So today I am in a re reflective mood. When I was training to be a physician, I learned about the miracle of modern medicine, but I also learned the limits of modern medicine. The first chapter of the Oxford Handbook of Medicine states very soberly, 
that the purpose of, of a physician is not to prevent death. The purpose of a physician is not to prevent death. The purpose of a physician is to delay death, to prevent an untimely death, to stop children from dying before their parents, to help parents live long enough to see their children grow up, to prevent a misordering of death. But a physician cannot stop people from ultimately dying. Today's Old Testament reading is taken from the prophet Isaiah. On superficial reading, it appears to talk of a physical healing, of weak hands, feeble knees, the blind, the deaf, the lame, the dumb. But read it again. God also promises spiritual healing, strength, freedom from fear, joy, spiritual refreshment, and the grand theme of the Bible is, of course, eternal life in union with Christ. What was Luke thinking as he sat with Paul in Rome, the only companion of a man about to die? What did Luke think, knowing that Paul's death would not be delayed again. That soon his friend Paul would be beyond the reach of Luke's skills as a physician. I can only guess, I can only speculate. But there comes a time in all our lives when we will need to reach beyond the type of help you get from any medicine that comes in a bottle or in a blister pack or in an injection. Sometimes the medicine we need is to be found in companionship, a listening ear, meditating on the Bible, spending time in prayer with God. For while physical health is important, spiritual health too is important. Next Sunday, seven days time, I'll be leaving isolation to join my family at home in Singapore. Last Wednesday, my father accepted that his physical health would not improve, but decided that he wanted God's spiritual grace and healing. And all I can offer him when I see him next Sunday is a little companionship on that journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I invite you to stand as we affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, he descended to the earth. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Mother, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please sit for our prayers of intercession. Blessed are you, Lord our God. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. From you come our life, this world, and all that we have and are. Teach us to love and respect your creation, and give glory to you. Blessed are you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
Lord God, creator of all, we give thanks for those who have taught us the faith. We ask your blessing upon the mission of the church, which is your mission. Guide and strength all who reach out to others in faith and with the good news. We pray for all evangelists and all who witness to your love. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord God, creator of all, we give thanks for all you have given us. We ask for your guidance on all who are led astray by the glitter of gold and the false promises of consumerism. We pray for all who are impoverished in spirit. We ask your blessing upon the governments of this world and their striving for justice and fair dealing. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord God, creator of all, we ask your blessing upon our home and our loved ones. We pray for all who provide us with water, electricity and gas. For those who collect our refuse and clean our streets, remember all who help to maintain law and order in these difficult and challenging times. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord God, creator of all, we ask your blessing on all hospitals, care homes, home visitors, and the social services. We pray for the coronavirus at this time, and all the problems we're encountering across the world. Remember before you all suffering and impoverished peoples. We pray for the world poor, on all who are without the basic needs of life. We bring before you friends and loved ones who are ill, from our pew leaflet, Adrian, Bernice, Anne, Michael, Robert, Hazel, Betty, Derek, John, Barbara, Dewey, Evelyn, Melissa, Michelle, and any others known to us. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord God, creator of all, we come from you and we return to you. Bless our loved ones departed. May they rejoice with your saints in glory. We commit this world and ourselves to you and our unfailing service and love. We pray for those on our pew leaflet today. Peter, Pamela, Deborah, Wendy, Mary Sol. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In a moment, we will stand to share the piece, but first I have the pleasure of publishing Bands of Marriage. I publish the bands of marriage between Paul Michael Sibbery of the parish of Clewer St. Andrew and Claire Dominey, also of the parish of Clewer St. Andrew. This is the third time of asking. If any of you know any reason in law why they may not marry each other, you are to declare it. 
So let us pray now for Paul and Claire as they prepare for their wedding. God of love, we thank you for bringing together Paul and Claire in love. And we pray for them now as they prepare for their wedding day and their married life together. Amen. Do you please stand to share the peace. We are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. 
I invite you to stand for the Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and singing. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection, looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Luke, St. Stephen, St. Agnes, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you this day and always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Strengthen for service, Lord, the hands that have taken holy things. May the ears which have heard your word be deaf to clamour and dispute. May the tongues which have spoken your praise be free from deceit. May the eyes which have seen tokens of your love shine with the light of hope. And may the bodies which have been fed with your body be refreshed with the fullness of your life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Would you like to stand for the blessing? The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.